Athane or, is an organic chemical compound with chemical formula C2H6. At standard temperature and pressure, ethane is a colorless, odorless gas. Like many hydrocarbons, ethane is isolated on an industrial scale from natural gas and is a petrochemical byproduct of petroleum refining. Its chief use is as feedstock for ethylene production. Related compounds may be formed by replacing a hydrogen atom with another functional group. The ethane moiety is called an ethyl group. For example, an ethyl group linked to a hydroxyl group yields ethanol, the alcohol in beverages. History Ethane was first synthesized in 1834 by Michael Faraday, applying electrolysis of a potassium acetate solution. He mistook the hydrocarbon product of this reaction for methane and did not investigate it further. During the period 1847 to 1849, in an effort to vindicate the radical theory of organic chemistry, Herman Colby and Edward Franklin produced ethane by the reductions of propionitrile, ethyl cyanide, and ethyl iodide with potassium metal, and, as did Faraday, by the electrolysis of aqueous acetates. They, however, mistook the product of the reactions for methyl radical rather than the dimer of methyl, ethane. This error was corrected in 1864 by Carl Schallamer, who showed that the product of all these reactions was in fact ethane. The name ethane is derived from the IUPAC nomenclature of organic chemistry. Ed is derived from the German for potable alcohol, ethanol, and an refers to the presence of a single bond between the carbon atoms. Properties at standard temperature and pressure, ethane is a colorless, odorless gas. It has a boiling point of minus 88.5 degrees Celsius, minus 127.3 degrees Fahrenheit, and melting point of minus 182.8 degrees Celsius, minus 297.0 degrees Fahrenheit. Solid ethane exists in several modifications. On cooling under normal pressure, the first modification to appear is a plastic crystal, crystallizing in the cubic system. In this form, the positions of the hydrogen atoms are not fixed, the molecules may rotate freely around the long axis. Cooling this ethane below Ca. 89.9 K, minus 183.2 degrees Celsius, minus 297.8 degrees Fahrenheit, changes it to monoclinic metastable ethane 2, space group P21, N, ethane is only very sparingly soluble in water. Chemistry Ethane can be viewed as two methyl groups joined, that is, a dimer of methyl groups. In the laboratory, ethane may be conveniently synthesized by Colby electrolysis. In this technique, an aqueous solution of an acetate salt is electrolyzed. At the anode, acetate is oxidized to produce carbon dioxide and methyl radicals, and the highly reactive methyl radicals combine to produce ethane, CH3COO minus CH3 plus CO2 plus E minus CH3 plus CH3C2H6 synthesis by oxidation of acetic anhydride by peroxides, is conceptually similar. The chemistry of ethane involves chiefly free radical reactions. Ethane can react with the halogens, especially chlorine and bromine, by free radical halogenation. This reaction proceeds through the propagation of the ethyl radical C2H5 plus Cl2 ethyl chloride plus Cl Cl plus C2H6 C2H5 plus HCl because halogenated ethanes can undergo further free radical halogenation. This process results in a mixture of several halogenated products. In the chemical industry, more selective chemical reactions are used for the production of any particular 2-carbon haloalkane. Combustion The complete combustion of ethane releases 1,559.7 kJ per mole, or 51.9 kJ per gram, of heat, and produces carbon dioxide and water according to the chemical equation, 2C2H6 plus 7O24CO2 plus 6H2O plus 3120 kJ combustion may also occur without an excess of oxygen, forming a mix of amorphous carbon and carbon monoxide. 2C2H6 plus 3O24C plus 6H2O plus energy 
2C2H6 plus 5O24CO plus 6H2O plus energy 2C2H6 plus 4O22C plus 2CO plus 6H2O plus energy etc. Combustion occurs by a complex series of free radical reactions. Computer simulations of the chemical kinetics of ethane combustion have included hundreds of reactions. An important series of reaction in ethane combustion is the combination of an ethyl radical with oxygen, and the subsequent breakup of the resulting peroxide into ethoxy and hydroxyl radicals. C2H5 plus O2 C2H5 OO C2H5 OO plus HR C2H5 OO H plus R C2H5 OO H C2H5 O plus O the principal carbon containing products of incomplete ethane combustion are single carbon compounds such as carbon monoxide and formaldehyde. One important route by which the carbon-carbon bond in ethane is broken, to yield these single carbon products, is the decomposition of the ethoxy radical into a methyl radical and formaldehyde, which can in turn undergo further oxidation. C2H5OCH3 plus CH2 so minor products in the incomplete combustion of ethane include acetaldehyde, methane, methanol, and ethanol. At higher temperatures, especially in the range 600 to 900 degrees Celsius (1112 to 1652 degrees Fahrenheit), ethylene is a significant product. It arises through reactions such as this: C2H5 plus O2 C2H4 plus U. Similar reactions with agents other than oxygen as the hydrogen abstractor are involved in the production of ethylene from ethane in steam cracking. Ethane barrier Rotating a molecular substructure about a twistable bond usually requires energy. The minimum energy to produce a 360-degree bond rotation is called the rotational barrier. Ethane gives a classic, simple example of such a rotational barrier, sometimes called the ethane barrier. Among the earliest experimental evidence of this barrier, see diagram at left, was obtained by modeling the entropy of ethane. The three hydrogens at each end are free to pinwheel about the central carbon-carbon bond when provided with sufficient energy to overcome the barrier. The physical origin of the barrier is still not completely settled, although the overlap, exchange repulsion between the hydrogen atoms on opposing ends of the molecule is perhaps the strongest candidate, with the stabilizing effect of hyperconjugation on the staggered conformation contributing to the phenomenon. However, theoretical methods that use an appropriate starting point, orthogonal orbitals, find that hyperconjugation is the most important factor in the origin of the ethane rotation barrier. As far back as 1890-1891, chemists suggested that ethane molecules preferred the staggered conformation with the two ends of the molecule askew from each other. Production After methane, ethane is the second largest component of natural gas. Natural gas from different gas fields varies in ethane content from less than 1% to more than 6% by volume. Prior to the 1960s, ethane and larger molecules were typically not separated from the methane component of natural gas, but simply burnt along with the methane as a fuel. Today, ethane is an important petrochemical feedstock and is separated from the other components of natural gas in most well-developed gas fields. Ethane can also be separated from petroleum gas, a mixture of gaseous hydrocarbons produced as a byproduct of petroleum refining. Economics of building and running processing plants can change, however. If the relative value of sending the unprocessed natural gas to a consumer exceeds the value of extracting ethane, ethane extraction might not be run, which could cause operational issues managing the changing quality of the gas in downstream systems. Ethane is most efficiently separated from methane by liquefying it at cryogenic temperatures. Various refrigeration strategies exist, the most economical process presently in wide use employs a turbo expander, and can recover more than 90% of the ethane in natural gas. In this process, chilled gas is expanded through a turbine, reducing the temperature to about minus 100 degrees Celsius, minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit. At this low temperature, gaseous methane can be separated from the liquefied ethane and heavier hydrocarbons by distillation. Further distillation then separates ethane from the propane and heavier hydrocarbons. 
Uses The chief use of ethane is the production of ethene ethylene by steam cracking. When diluted with steam and briefly heated to very high temperatures 900 degrees Celsius or more, heavy hydrocarbons break down into lighter hydrocarbons, and saturated hydrocarbons become unsaturated. Ethane is favored for ethene production because the steam cracking of ethane is fairly selective for ethene, while the steam cracking of heavier hydrocarbons yields a product mixture poorer in ethene and richer in heavier alkenes olefins, such as propene propylene, and butadiene, and in aromatic hydrocarbons. Experimentally, ethane is under investigation as a feedstock for other commodity chemicals. Oxidative chlorination of ethane has long appeared to be a potentially more economical route to vinyl chloride than ethene chlorination. Many processes for producing this reaction have been patented, but poor selectivity for vinyl chloride and corrosive reaction conditions, specifically, a reaction mixture containing hydrochloric acid at temperatures greater than 500 degrees Celsius, have discouraged the commercialization of most of them. Presently, INEOS operates a 1000 t.a. tons per annum ethane to vinyl chloride pilot plant at Wilhelmshaven in Germany. Similarly, the Saudi Arabian firm Sabic has announced construction of a 30,000 tons per annum plant to produce acetic acid by ethane oxidation at Yanbu. The economic viability of this process may rely on the low cost of ethane near Saudi oil fields, and it may not be competitive with methanol carbonylation elsewhere in the world. Ethane can be used as a refrigerant in cryogenic refrigeration systems. On a much smaller scale, in scientific research, liquid ethane is used to vitrify water-rich samples for electron microscopy, cryo-electron microscopy. A thin film of water, quickly immersed in liquid ethane at minus 150 degrees Celsius or colder, freezes too quickly for water to crystallize. With slower freezing methods, ice crystals can disrupt soft structures, damaging the samples. Health and safety At room temperature, ethane is a flammable gas. When mixed with air at 3.0% to 12.5% by volume, it forms an explosive mixture. Some additional precautions are necessary where ethane is stored as a cryogenic liquid. Direct contact with liquid ethane can result in severe frostbite. Until they warm to room temperature, the vapors from liquid ethane are heavier than air and can flow along the floor or ground, gathering in low places. If the vapors encounter an ignition source, the chemical reaction can flash back to the source of ethane from which they evaporated. Ethane can displace oxygen and become an asphyxiation hazard. Ethane poses no known acute or chronic toxicological risk. It is not a carcinogen. Atmospheric and extraterrestrial ethane Ethane occurs as a trace gas in the Earth's atmosphere, currently having a concentration at sea level of 0.5 ppb, though its pre-industrial concentration is likely to have been only around 0.25 part per billion since a significant proportion of the ethane in today's atmosphere may have originated as fossil fuels. Global ethane quantities have varied over time, likely due to flaring at natural gas fields. Global ethane emission rates declined from 1984 to 2010, though increased shale gas production at the Bakken formation in the U.S. has arrested the decline by half. Although ethane is a greenhouse gas, it is much less abundant than methane, has a lifetime of only a few months vis-a-vis -vis over a decade, and is also less efficient at absorbing radiation relative to mass. It has been detected as a trace component in the atmospheres of all four giant planets, and in the atmosphere of Saturn's moon Titan. Atmospheric ethane results from the Sun's photochemical action on methane gas, also present in these atmospheres. Ultraviolet photons of shorter wavelengths than 160 nanometers can photo dissociate the methane molecule into a methyl radical and a hydrogen atom. When two methyl radicals recombine, the result is ethane. CH4 CH3 plus H CH3 plus CH3 C2H6 On Earth's atmosphere, hydroxyl radicals convert ethane to methanol vapor with a half-life of around three months. It was once widely hypothesized that ethane produced in this fashion on Titan rained back onto the Moon's surface, and over time had accumulated into hydrocarbon seas or oceans covering much of the Moon. 
S surface. Infrared telescopic observations cast significant doubt on this hypothesis, and the Huygens probe, which landed on Titan in 2005, failed to observe any surface liquids, although it did photograph features that could be presently dry drainage channels. In December 2007 the Cassini probe found at least one lake at Titan's South Pole, now called Ontario Lacus because of the lake's similar area to Lake Ontario on Earth, approximately 20,000 square kilometers. Further analysis of infrared spectroscopic data presented in July 2008 provided stronger evidence for the presence of liquid ethane in Ontario Lacus. In 1996, ethane was detected in comet Hayakutaki, and it has since been detected in some other comets. The existence of ethane in these distant solar system bodies may implicate ethane as a primordial component of the solar nebula from which the Sun and planets are believed to have formed. In 2006, Dale Cruikshank of NASA Ames Research Center, a New Horizons co-investigator, and his colleagues announced the spectroscopic discovery of ethane on Pluto's surface. References External links International Chemical Safety Card 0266 Market-driven evolution of gas processing technologies for NGLs Staggered and eclipsed ethane